welcome back to KC Fitness. It's your girl Kirsten Zimmerman. <clears throat> I'm a little cold. What? I'm a little sick, so don't mind my wonky voice once in a while. Today's video is going to be on wonderful powerlifting and why I decided to get into it and kind of my journey to the sport, if y'all care to watch. I made a list, I'm gonna go over it, I'm gonna kind of explain what powerlifting is. If you are new here, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Make sure to turn that post notification on and become a member of the KZ Fit Fam. I like to educate, inspire, and motivate everyone on the wonderful interweb. Without further ado, let's get right into it. To start, what exactly is powerlifting? I get asked this question a lot, and I'm just going to say it super simple in the easiest terms possible. Powerlifting is three lifts. That's your bench, your deadlift, and your squat, and it is able to assess your overall max power and the power output that you are able to produce. The sport has been around for a long time, but has recently been getting very popular due to inspos on the web and their involvement within the community and within the sport. First thing is, how long have I been doing powerlifting for? I'm a newbie to it. I've been only doing it for about five months, so nothing crazy. Um, my numbers on the three lifts, so my squat is 315. You want to be able to test your one rep max, which is when you're going into a competition setting. You want to lift as much as you can for one rep with proper form and meeting all the standards. So I squat 315 for one so far sometimes, and that is without a belt, and that is also without knee sleeves. So if I have a belt and knee sleeves, I'm sure I could squat even a little bit more. Lots of federations allow knee sleeves and belts um, to keep compete with. My deadlift is 265. So I recently just started getting into deadlifting. For a long time, I would never go up to a barbell uh, for it. So luckily I changed that mindset and I now go up to a barbell and I now deadlift both sumo and conventional and I do rack pulls, which is awesome. And then my bench. So as most of you know, if you've been here for a while, if you're new, I got a breast augmentation last year on June 19th and I was not cleared for any bench specific or chest specific movements till one year post-op. So I'm finally just getting back into it. So my bench is a sad 115, but I'll take it. It's better than nothing. And finally, I can start to really focus on building up that specific area where I'm really weak in and it wouldn't allow me to progress to a higher total without improving in bench. Why I got into the sport. The sport does not focus on how you look. A bit about my journey. I really wanted to get into bodybuilding as soon as I lost my 100 pounds, which was the worst idea ever because bodybuilding is specifically based around what judges think you look like in comparison to your peers and people who are competing against you. It's all based on perspective and what the judges are looking for. So there's a lot of gray area within competing and the bodybuilding world, which is one reason I, it did not benefit fit me and it really was honestly a negative environment for me to be in um, due to my body image dysmorphia and to how I looked at myself. Um, so powerlifting doesn't do that. It's a black or a white area. You either make the fucking lift or you don't. There's no, oh, you kind of made it or, oh, you kind of hit past 90 or, oh, blah, 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 or, oh, you kind of locked out. It's like you did it, you're cleared or you didn't. And the nice thing is too with powerlifting, there's a world record. No one gives a fuck what you look like. If you hit that world record and beat it, it's yours. We're bodybuilding. It's one year you could win because you look amazing. The next year someone could look better. You don't win anything. It's just like so much up and down and I'm just not a big fan of it. So that's one of the reasons I kind of got into powerlifting. Bodybuilding just really screwed me up mentally and how I looked at myself and how I analyzed everything and how I never thought I was perfect enough and I didn't think I was good enough to step on stage and I didn't think I had nice enough legs or glutes or back or arms or whatever. I started to veer away from bodybuilding because your girl was not trying to feel like crap all the time. Um, and don't get me wrong, lots of people in bodybuilding and in 
competing, love the sport, and that's all that matters. I personally don't since I found powerlifting. I love powerlifting personally because it allows me to be strong as shit, empower other women, so other women and men. It's such a great community. Like, our lifters support one another through thick and thin, and I think it's just awesome because you are able to meet people who are also trying to beat their goals of, let's say they hit 350 on squat and they want to hit 335, right? Like, it's just always progressing to be better, which is what I love about it, and they're always wanting to help you and support you and say good job and maybe work on this, and so it's never like a negative environment to be around. I feel like there's constant progress within powerlifting, and it really does not take that long to see. Um, maybe because I'm still a newbie to the sport, but I've been able to see some crazy strength in my lifts since I've religiously started training. Um, powerlifting in specific and it's such a good feeling because I no longer look at the scale for you know that feeling of success I go to the gym and I hit a number or I hit an extra rep on a number and I feel amazing and I think that's what just connects with me is because I love that feeling of kicking ass and like progressing and becoming better so another question and something that I want to touch on is is equipment needed now, I'm only about five or six months into strict powerlifting, and I did not use knee sleeves up until, I'd say, four and a half or five months in, um, because for no reason did I feel like I needed them. I was doing fine with squats. My numbers were good. I wasn't, like, analyzing anything. And then Mark Bell Slingshot sent me a pair of knee sleeves, and I've been using them for all of my squat days, and I love it. It just keeps my joints warmer and it's not like a crazy heavy knee sleeve so it's not like it's pushing me to max out on something it's just there for the warmth and to you know prevent injury if you're gonna get anything in powerlifting i'd recommend knee sleeves don't get all the accessories they're not needed when you first start. I recently just purchased a belt. I am supposed to get it tomorrow, but I purchased a belt only for the reason because now I'm in the 300 club and it's actually an awesome feeling. I want to just protect myself. If you're a newbie to weightlifting, you don't need to get a belt. Um, once you start hitting heavier numbers, you want to have that support. So that's one of the reasons I just invested in a belt. It took me about literally 12 different occasions going onto the website, creating it, and then being like, no. And then I finally did it, and I get it tomorrow, and it will be interesting to see how it works. Now, with equipment, I'd like to touch on not relying completely on it. I know a lot of people in powerlifting, they only lift with accessories, which you are not shit. If you're lifting heavy all the time, do your thing. But I would recommend at least once every two weeks to take a break from accessories and still kind of lift lift heavier just to still get used to the fact that you can do it raw you don't need accessories to kick some ass in the gym and i think that's just important because let's say this person i know relied solely on a belt for a long time and <clears throat> when they stopped using a belt they felt bad and they didn't feel like successful in their lifts they felt like they got weaker which is not true it's just a it's just a mentality game my recommendation would be if you do end up adding accessories into powerlifting then just give yourself a break once in a while just to you know mentally say yeah you can do it more than anything else i really love powerlifting now it's been such a positive change for me instead of like i said focusing on a scale or how i look or how my my waist is or my butt is or what my inches are i'm now focusing on being successful in the gym and finding a passion and process through that i'm not saying powerlifting is for everyone but i am saying if you are very upset with your body if you are wondering why you're not seeing progress or you're not happy with any progress try powerlifting i also wanted to say that just because you lift heavy does not mean that you're going to get bulky, does not mean you're going to look like a man. Lifting heavy makes you, if anything, more feminine, and that's just something important to remember while lifting. Don't think you're going to look like Bob um, who's doing bench press because our hormones are different in a sense than a male's. Remember that. Start your journey. Enjoy the process and a life. Like I said, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I want you all to join the KZ fam. Yeah, I love you so much.